about them, but there will come a time in the conversation when it's time to get a bit dark, all right? And sometimes it can be right at the beginning. Sometimes you might just have a nice chat with someone and then it switches to that. It depends on the person, which, you know, this is what you get now. It depends on the person. You know, I've had entire conversations with people about, I don't know, about the weather and stuff like that. And sometimes we've just got chatting and then we've slowly moved in and then it's gone boom. You know, the darkness came, but it has to come. And so we're going to talk about negative emotions here. Now, you by default as humans, yeah, I did it again. We by default, so I'm a human too, by the way. Um, we by default as humans, we have been trained and indoctrinated by, by our parents to be kind always. I say indoctrinated, that, that's negative, isn't it? But we've been brought up here. Anyone in here who's had, a, who's had their parents, you know, give them like a try and give you a really good upbringing, has been told you should be kind to others. It's clear, isn't it? Like, you know, I, I doubt any of your parents said the opposite. You should, you should be mean to us. You should have used everybody. No, I, I really doubt that. If that's the case, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and if you're one of these people that enjoys being mean to people, then I'm even more sorry, because that really sucks. But I'd assume that no one in here is that. Um, I assume anyone like that is just fucking happy. But anyway, let's get, let's move on. Let's keep, let's, let's not move on. Let's stay here. Let's, let's not let you get sidetracked again. All right. So negative emotions. So because of this default setting we have, we find it hard to make people upset. We're told you shouldn't upset people. If you upset someone, you're a bad person. So we find it hard. It's against the fiber of your nature to upset someone. But I'm here to tell you, I'm sorry. You have to do it. You have to get comfortable with upsetting people because. It's not really you that's upsetting them, it's what's happening that's upsetting them. You're the messenger, fine, but the content is what is upsetting them. And if you cannot deliver this content in a way that's going to upset them, then frankly, you're not doing the best you can do for the animals here. And I'm going to tell you that I've done this a million times, or I, I've made these mistakes too, I'm not, again, none of this is looking down on anyone. I've been through this, I've come out the other side, and I still make these mistakes sometimes. What are these mistakes? When you're talking to someone about the animals and you nervously try to make it, like, I hate to say the word, fun. Has anyone seen this in outreach? A new outreach are usually somebody you've never done before and they kind of make a joke about what's happening. Or they kind of like awkwardly smile. Or they're fidgeting like, yeah, it's the animals, you know, what happens, they're like, kind of like casual like this. Has anyone seen that? I've seen it a lot. I've seen it a lot. No, I'm talking about the outreachers here. I'm talking about the vegan. The vegan that does this. And, and it seems weird because you would imagine that I'm talking about the person I've been spoken to. But I've seen this with vegans too. Because they're nervous. And when you're nervous, you smile. Or you make a joke. Or you. Like, you know, get really dismissive and kind of like, yeah, this, this bit, this is like the dairy industry, so like, basically what's happening here is, you know, they get a bit like animated and it's, it's nerves, all right? So I'm here to tell you that, like, we need to practice really hard at getting these, these negative messages out without these nervous gifts, without these tails, without these awkward smiles and these kind of motion of the hands and, you know, making it kind of interesting or fun. At this point, we need to show them how severe this is by our body language and our tone of voice. So for example, in India, you're talking about the dairy industry a lot. That, that's a big focus in India, I know that. Now, how to explain that in a really quick way, in the way that I'm talking about, would be something along the lines of, so a dairy cow is born, she's born for one reason only. She'll be a slave to the dairy industry. When she has any babies that were taken away from her immediately because the baby wants the milk and we're going to take that milk for ourselves, a lot of the babies actually die from starvation and from sickness from not getting enough nutrition. How do we make her pregnant? There's a few ways. Both of these ways should be tied down by her face, unable to move. If she tries to resist, she'll be beaten. And then a bull will be forced to have sex with her or they'll do it with their own hands. They'll put one hand inside her anus to get the cervix and we'll put another one with a needle inside our vagina, all the while while she's tied up and beaten. <coughs> you see how just that sentence and the slight lower tone of voice and the seriousness of my face has switched this environment completely. You were all like happy a minute ago, your eyes were high, and over there there's a few people like even 
giving me like the head nod, you know, and like, it was it was all everyone was interested, everything was going, and then all of a sudden now you're all looking at me like I've just done something, like I've just killed an animal right here. You know? That's the power of your language and of your body language. It's how powerful it can be. I just switched 30 people into a really negative state of mind with one sentence or a few sentences, one paragraph. You have that power in you too. It's not that difficult. You just need to practice it. Get it right in your head and be ready to deliver it as soon as somebody asks. What's so bad about dairy? You need to be ready with that tone and that and tell them clear this is what's wrong with dairy. You know, if it gets to that point. But it will get to that point. The conversation will always go that. It will always work its way up to this point, and there'll be that moment where you have to just, you have to educate it. That moment comes. All right? So, get comfortable with negative emotions, is the summary of this section. Now we're going to try and bring it, have you got a question? So, in India specifically, yeah. the, the response was going to be, we have cows in our room, we yeah. have a farm, we keep yeah. them like family and keep them good and nuts. Everyone does, right? Everyone's got someone, someone who has these yes. beautiful